Oh, hello. I'm Gentleman Norman. Good day. Let's tie a tie, shall we? Today we're going to learn three knots. The four in hand, the half Windsor, and the Windsor. I figure, why not? You get it? Pick out your favorite tie and let's get going. Now this is the four in hand. It's the simplest and most used knot. Go ahead and hold your tie out like this, yes? Oh, jolly good form, Jeff. Great. Now swoop it under, and then over, like this. That's a tasty looking tie. Pass it through the back and thread it up. Look for the hole. Yes, yes, just, just push it through. Carefully now. That a boy, you're looking sharp as a tack. You should change your name to Dapper Dan. You did it! Now this next knot is the Half Windsor. This triangular knot works well with a classic collar. Ready, set, go! Swing under, then flip it up and through the top. Give it a little tug, then flip it over the front. Now I see why all the dames want to tie the knot. Ha ha! Swoop back, now through, then down the hole! That's my favorite part. Anyway, where were we? Oh yes, then tighten it. Make it fit like a glove. Your neck just sent me a telegram saying thank you. Stop, gentleman Norman, stop. Now it's on to the full Windsor. Hey, where did the music go? Back to one, Frank. That's better. Now start with a strong loop underneath and over. Now give your tie a little pinch on the dimple. Swing it behind and go around the world. But it won't take you 80 days, ha <laughs> ha! Now flip it up. And now for the tuck. Look at you. You're a regular Cary Grant. See how you look like a duke? Well, that's because the Windsor Knot is named after the Duke of Windsor. Oh, it's four o'clock. Time for tea. See you later. Ta-ta. I'm Gentleman Norman, and it's been my pleasure.